Well, Thanksgiving is right around the corner now. It's time to get together and generally share a nice meal with your family and friends. But for those who struggle with their relationship with food, it can bring some anxiety. Bethany Dario is here with us from a divergent dietitian. So we can learn a little bit more about how to handle this because it, it really is a holiday centered around food, isn't it? That's correct. Yes. For a lot of people, it brings on a lot of big emotions and emotions that they may need some support with in order to still meet their nutritional needs. So for folks who may, you know, eat something and then afterwards feel guilty about it, or you know, mm. is that is that pretty typical for, for most of us? Yeah, I would say for a typical person, we can kind of experience that, maybe laugh it off or roll through, you know, move on to the next thing. But for some people, I think it really derails them. And it's more and more people, quite honestly. So giving people the support they need to be able to manage those emotions and not use compensatory behaviors or unhealthy behaviors to cope with it. It's really important. In terms of eating disorders, there are a variety of, of ways that yeah, people can go between anorexia or bulimia. Uh, what are some of the conditions that we see when it comes to our relationship with food? Yeah, we see all sorts of things. I see clients who struggle with eating really perfectly, which we sometimes call orthorexia, making sure their plate is full of quote unquote healthy foods, but then in the long run, often restricting and not getting enough nutrition. Um, we see anorexia, which is an individual who on an ongoing basis doesn't meet their nutritional needs. And then we see individuals who struggle with over-exercising because of how much they ate, or sometimes even really toxic behaviors like purging or could be use of laxatives and other medication abuse. And many times, sometimes we look at ourselves and, and we're really harsh critics of, mm -hmm. of ourselves, aren't we? And we can look in the mirror and, and see something and it may not be what everybody else sees. Absolutely. Our perception of ourselves is often very different <laughs> than how other people perceive us. And building body trust takes a long time. But a lot of the work that I do is helping people connect with what your body is asking or telling you. And so being able to slow down while we're eating and pay attention to our pacing and start to listen to those cues of what our body is asking for, more of one nutrient, maybe less of another, and sometimes working to really identify what our body is asking us so that we're not eating for external rather than internal reasons. Uh -huh. Yeah, many times uh, I know I think it was when I became a mom and I started mm. eating really fast because I you, get, you eat when you can, yes, yes, and then you maybe overeat a little bit because mm. then your brain hasn't told you yet, well, you're good. Yeah. You know, so it's learning, yeah, learning those cues, taking yeah. your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We practice things like pacing with by using your non-dominant hand to eat. So switching your fork maybe to your left hand if you're right-handed. Sometimes it's putting your fork down between bites, not for a diet, not to make sure we eat less, but more to be aware of what your body is asking you to do. Wow. So a lot of strategies here. Yeah. As we approach Thanksgiving, you have an event coming up, if you will, or a, a meal yep. for people to come together and maybe get a little practice meal yep. in. We do. We offer a host and cater a Thanksgiving dinner at Divergent and individuals come, come in and work with a registered dietitian to practice portioning, to practice pacing, and then to sit with food and any emotions that come up and start to practice coping skills. What do we do when we feel uncomfortable? What do we do when the urge is to go back and respond to that need for another flavor continue even though we're full? It happened, especially yeah. around Thanksgiving. You said, oh, I'm full, but that pie looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the fear of this is the only time, right? Like mm -hmm. the pumpkin pie might not be available again for a whole nother year, so I better have two or three pieces. So a lot of things to consider you know, as we enjoy this meal, and it is a, it is a joyous time yeah. of year, and we and a beautiful meal that we can spend with our loved ones. So tell us again where you're located, what time the practice meal is happening. Do people need, need to re sign up for that ahead of time probably? Yeah, it would be best if we could get emails at divergentdietitian.com. Mm -hmm. And we are in Perrysburg, Ohio at 308 Louisiana Avenue, right across from the library down in the historic part of Perrysburg. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. Appreciate it.